Hello, hello, hello. It's Sunday Chit Chat. Welcome to Sunday Chit Chat. How are you all doing? I'm sure some of you might be maybe like, oh my goodness, wonder if she's going to be on today. But it's Sunday, so we are always going to be here. Unless something really, really bad happened, we are here for Sunday Chit Chat. Now, missing in action all week. Yes, I was. I was really tired, so I'm going to keep it real with you all. Really, really tired, and I feel like, you know, it was about time that I spent a little time. I actually took a full day off on Saturday, like an entire day. No phone, no computer, no just no nothing. Just take that time for myself. And you would think that maybe I'm home sleeping. I still didn't get any sleep. I didn't go to sleep, but I actually, you know, feel a little good. Revitalize, energize. So we are back up and running. Well, I am back up and running, and I'm just happy to be here. And guess what? It is worth it when you guys tend to miss me a little bit, like at least a little bit. And I can see you all on the chat. We, um, Claudia, how are you? Yes, I, I, I did check the comments earlier, and I see you're very active. Thank you for that. We also have. Keisha, who was first today. Well, I try to be first by posting happy Sunday to everyone. And then we also have Margaret. We also have Jill and who else was early? Um, Karen Modisil, Georgia. Um, we have someone new from Pakistan that you may are welcome. Lioness TV. We have Lana Nurse. Hi, Lana. How are you doing? Lockett Bravo. I think I mentioned Jill before. Shereen Brown. We also have... Um, chocolate beauty welcome to the live chat i think you're pretty new um or you were here some time ago when we were doing our 25 day skincare challenge we also have jason juliana welcome to the live chat we also hi jackie mom makeup for Heather. Irene Briar, yeah, I messed that up. Welcome, you're watching from Uganda. First time I'm seeing you because I struggle with pronouncing your name, so I know that I um I haven't seen you here before. Maya, how are you? And we have another new person here. Um, Noella, Noella, I think you were here before at least once. And welcome, Donna. And if I didn't give you a shout out today, bear in mind that I still love you all. Whoa, whoa, guess who is here on their own phone? Okay, I'm just assuming it's a phone. It could be a tablet, but this person, uh, it's back up and running and my good old friend Rita welcome to the live so now you well I'm still saying Rita because now you change it to Marita so now I'm gonna learn to say Marita hi Marita I actually love that name welcome to the live so guys in case you're all wondering Petrie H gaming uh, that I'm normally calling Rita now she's back up and running Marita is here on the live hi Nina Jawa girl, welcome. And Overloom, you are first, I think, first time here. Um, welcome to the live. Today we're going to talk about the skin. Erica Bailey, how are you doing? Hashi Lewis, if you're just joining and you'll be like, oh my goodness, this girl just keep welcoming everyone. How is she going to do that? Hi, Nazi, how are you? Well, welcome to the live family. I have to give my subscribers, Hasi, welcome. A shout out because we were missing all week. Jason, welcome to the live hilma and that's what we do magdalene we give our members and subscribers a shout out to let them know how much we really appreciate them okay so robin lawrence watching from chicago welcome to the live we are veronica we are someone new petrolin welcome pascal that is and Taryn is up and running here. So we're gonna talk about skincare. How many of you that actually did our skincare challenge, um, which you know we wrapped up a few days ago, and how many of you are still doing it? How many of you are still taking care of your skin? This morning I did a, a facial, okay? I did a facial. It's an amazing facial. This one contained avocado, and I post a little snip of it on um stories so you could go and see what is coming up tomorrow 
I actually have two in mind that might be post tomorrow. The avocado one and another one with potato. Now the mask that um, contain potato also have skin tightening properties. And it is amazing for exfoliating the skin and getting rid of dead skin cells. You don't want to miss it. You want to try it because that's what I use this morning to give my face, you know, a natural, you know, just a nice little pop to it since i've been out of action for a while and uh we have um sanyu watching from naples that's somewhere where i want to go i think i passed pretty close didn't actually stop so definitely want to tour naples welcome to the live channel chat zimbabwe is in the house that's from Ope, and we also have um Charissa. good afternoon now where are you all watching from it's pretty nice to know i'm not going to read all the comments but i'll take a few let me know where you're watching from and what time of the day it is it is 4 39 here in brooklyn new york and that is where i am broadcasting from and it's pretty um it's a little sunny outside but it's a little nippy i think it's about like 54 degrees so we need a little light jacket or something so you know the weather is changing the leaves are changing and i like that it's like my favorite time to just see how beautiful those leaves and red orange fall i like fall okay really really like fall i like the leaves i like the candles i like the pumpkin i like Thanksgiving fall, round about fall time. I like the food. I just, that comfort. I like comfort. How many of you like comfort? I like the cozy blanket and the hot chocolate. I, I just love this time of year, to be honest. Maybe because I wasn't, you know, I didn't grow up with this, with the four seasons. I am from Jamaica. Most of you know that. So, you know, it's just rainy season and, and warm season right hot weather cold hot weather or rainy weather right but here with the you know the four season i love it love it love it love it love it all right so we have elsie watching from barbados having the same time as i am magdalene is watching from dc same time as i have here and we have sylvie that watching from canada um um garal Geraldton, tell me if I miss it up, but you are watching from Ontario. And we have um, Ashley watching from the UK, Juliana watching from Toronto. We also have, which is, if it's the same time, I'm not going to say it, um, very cold. And um, Ashley is watching from the UK and it's 9.30 p.m. and it's very cold. And Jackie's just right up there in the Bronx, same time. And Sharon is watching from Jamaica, which is one hour behind, so it's 3.40. Claudia, sunny and warm in Winnipeg. Fall is my favorite time of year. You see, we have so much in common. And how could I forget the soup, okay? In case you all don't know, I am a soup girl. Now, if you're new to our channel, we're not here just talking about food, but it's Sunday chit chat, and that's what we do. We take the first five minutes or so, and we just chit chat, and that's what we're doing today. Yes, I am a soup person, love soup. I could have soup morning noon and night and i could have soup all week long okay that's what i do and i like a wide variety not no one particular soup a wide variety of soup i like bring it on bring it over here yes i drink it and we have diva now we have another person watching from um united emirate which is ua uae time for 12 40 a.m midnight minutes to one 20 minutes to one a.m and that's dubai that is and we have Shirley. Shirley, Shirley. Okay, so we have Shirley watching from Montana, and that's a Cheryl with a C. Okay, now we have Diana from Kingston, Georgia, raining in Jamaica, and Claudia with this big all cap soup. Yes, Sarah, it seemed like it's been forever and live. Miss you all, and that's why I'm taking the time to just do a little shout out because yes, it do seem like it has been forever. And we have Lynn um watching. Thank you for your help and patience. You are welcome. And um Nazi, I am watching from Dubai. It's almost one a.m. You see what I'm talking about, Robin? I think you're new here. La Banchi, Robin La Banchi. B R A N Branchy La Branchy. I had a facial for all right. Let me put this up. Let me put this one up on the screen. I have a facial for my birthday yesterday. Did a pumpkin peel. Uh, let me say it right. Did a pumpkin peel and had facial ear removal. Slightly burned and face is rough in a few spots and scab on my face. 
any suggestion for healing i thought you were just gonna dive into telling us how amazing how amazing your facial what went okay you actually got it professionally done or did you do it yourself but definitely this looked like you did a professional facial peel and slightly burn and face is rough in a few spots okay so when you do a professional facial peel they are yes sometimes you do have that scalp and they should give you something to use on it maybe a little bit of uh, some people might give you petroleum some people might give you a little bit of a hydrocortisone cream to you know to use on it what about one percent and you shouldn't be out in the sun now you will need to give your face a week to really revive okay you will really, gotta give it a week for it to revive it's gonna come around okay it's gonna come around do not pick it do not irritate it just and let me know did they give you like a little cream hydrocortisone to put on it or a little petroleum jelly or some aloe vera gel so if you have none of those put some aloe vera gel okay and give it a week and you will be good to go okay professionally done so answer our question and let them all know did you get a little thing to use on the face but if not just get some aloe vera gel which they normally would give you you know like a little package like these to put on your face all right so um who is having a birthday okay so happy birthday to you and i hope you had an well you went today to get a facial done so at least we know you did something for your birthday anyway happy birthday um even though we are a day late and it's 4 44 in tobago so you are also on the same wait a minute let me figure something out you're watching from tobago and you're 4 44 my time so if you are in trinidad what time is it who is watching from trinidad if you're watching from trinidad let me hear because i'm thinking trinidad might be one hour behind like jamaica i know you're in tobago and you're at the same time so it's trinidad and tobago <laughs> do they have the scary the same time let me hear from you all so we have Sharisa watching from Guyana. Yes, we know about the two weather from Guyana. So we all know what is going on. And Karen, um, same time. So we have a new person here. Um, Soto, Satoni or Satoni. I'm gonna go with Satoni um boyle welcome to our live. Now, how many of you I asked earlier? Oh, she said nothing. So definitely, if you have some store-bought aloe vera gel, you, you can use it on it. If you don't and you have the fresh aloe vera gel, just get that gel out. Make sure none of the peel is on it. Blend it up and, you know, use it to cool your face down, okay? They should have given you some aloe vera gel or a little petroleum jelly or some hydro cortisone to to use on it all right all right so we and we're not giving professional advice here guys in case the system think we are we are not we're just sharing some you know simple tips and erica is watching from trinidad and trinidad are you in trinidad are you in tobago anyway we are moving on so what can i use for the serum now you want to know what to use for a serum we have a wide variety i'm just trying to find out okay so sharon is asked about asking about serum now sharon if you go on our channel page and i totally forget to bring my um ipad here with me which i like to have when i'm doing the show so i could look things up for you but i don't have it here so if you go on the channel page you are going to find a wide variety of facial serum most of those are anti-aging serum which is what i like to use on my skin you will however find facial serum that is rich in vitamin c you'll find facial serum which is just hydrating to the skin now choose one of those serum that is geared towards your skin concern now what is your skin concern are you looking to reduce wrinkles and fine lines or are you just looking for an amazing anti-aging facial serum you're gonna find some there a quick and easy base ingredient for facial serum at home is aloe vera gel so you can take some store-bought aloe vera gel which i prefer to do the serum and you can go ahead you can add a little bit of a, a little bit of a honey you can add some vegetable glycerin a little bit of a vitamin e and you're good to go or you can try some like i make where i use like rice water and i use a little aloe vera gel and i have other things to it but we have a wide variety on the channel page so go and choose one 
if you're new to the channel and you're not sure what facial serum is facial serum is help to repair the skin and you use your facial serum and top off your facial moisturizer so okay so 444 okay so same time all right so you use your facial serum on top of your facial toner not moisturizer on top of your facial toner so when you wash your face you spray that facial toner on and then you apply that serum you leave it on the skin for a minute or two and then you apply your facial moisturizer on top of the serum now a facial serum is mostly water-based some might have a little bit of a vitamin e oil in it but it's have to repair the skin reduce wrinkles and fine lines it have to get rid of dry skin flaky skin it just really do a number on the skin so go ahead and check one of those out hi renee after, welcome i use your papaya rosy grapeseed and pumpkin seed oil and it is divine and this is an amazing combination guys actually one that i love the papaya the, this is um the this is um is this the serum that you're using the papaya serum rosy grape seed and pumpkin seed oil and it is divine let me know if it's the serum you're using or if you're using the facial mask but if you want guys if you're just new to our channel we have an amazing facial serum made out of papaya seed you can actually check that out also all right so we are moving on gay do welcome we have um akima akima welcome to our live we're not sure i think you're speaking um message um that look like some french to me so i'll ask um if jason is around to or mandolin could actually um tell us what this person is saying if it is indeed french that you are speaking but i know you said something about natural and facial mask and massage that much i know you're saying so are you saying that you like a natural massage for, okay anyway let me not go ahead on myself but i know you're saying you use a facial and natural facial mask to massage your skin Hopefully that's what you're saying. Someone will help me out here, and that's Magnale. Magnalene, and I'm reading um on with this program that i'm using i find that it has been acting up a little bit of late and you know as claudia said i'm playing hide and seek acting up it's just keep kicking me out and coming back on so we definitely will have to look into that and i think i'm gonna start to do the sunday show back on the youtube um live a platform thing because it's really act up but then i have to post the link on you know facebook so that they could come over don't know what happened if you get kicked out just click back on and come right back so magdalene was saying natural she said message massage and facial mask chichi natural massage and facial mask thank you for that so yes i was right on the money all right so we are good now auntie i'm back on so just click back on what happened the system just says my internet which i know is not and it just kicked me out the good thing about this um program that i'm using is that when you get disconnected it could you could come right back in unlike other program what do you do about soap wart extra i was reading something that it could be used to make a wash soap with aloe and i'm not sure what that is soap wart um i gotta write that down guys because that's the first time I'm hearing about that. 
And as I said, look at my book today. I see how unorganized I am today. But anyway, I am still here. Now, welcome to the live chat. And while you are here, please give us a thumbs up. It is Sunday chit chat. And I get a little distracted because I got kicked out. But I have S O A P double O R T. Soapport extra. If you know what that is, comment, comment. First time I'm seeing this, I have no idea what it is. So I will have to look it up. All right, so facial, facial. If you're here, we're talking about, you know, getting your skin to look tight and firm. Now, you have a wide variety of natural ingredients that you can use on the skin. And, um, okay, so Renee wants to know if I'm into sea mask. I'm going to answer that in a few. All right, now, there are plenty of natural ingredients that you can use to lift and firm and tighten the skin. Now, what you do to lift and tighten the skin is to use a good facial mask that have skin tightening properties. Some of the ingredients that, hi, Christine, Christine Foster, that is, welcome back. Some of the ingredient that I personally like to use, I like to use a good clay mask. And you can find a wide variety of clay masks on the market to buy, or you can choose to make one yourself. You can find powder, clay powder, like Fuller's Earth, the green clay, red clay, Moroccan clay. They have a wide variety of names for these clay. Regardless of which one you use, it is good. If you get the powder, all you need to add to that is a little water or a little milk. Or if you're like me, you might want to add some green tea to it. You might want to add a little soy milk to it. But whatever you do, cold is best. And you just make it into a nice space and just use it on the space. I actually have a pack of red clay, Moroccan clay that I was like, oh, I'm going to make you all a uh, facial mask with it. But the reason I didn't use it because I know sometimes when I use ingredient that mostly you don't have, you'll be like, oh, we don't have it. We don't have it. We don't have it. So that is why I didn't, you know, make it. But if you all want me to make it to show you how to use the clay powder to make your facial mask, then I'd gladly show it to you. And if you live somewhere where you have the clay powder readily available don't be afraid to use that it helps to tighten and firm the skin and clay has been used on the skin for centuries like your grand 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 all the way up use this because it helps the skin not only that it is loaded with minerals and vitamins that help to draw out the toxin from your skin so if you have like blackheads and whitehead and if you have those large pores and oily skin clay is amazing for the skin now as i said you can make one or you can buy one don't go crazy for the everlasting expensive expensive clay uh, mask you can make buy the powder and just whip it up because it's the same clay believe it or not that they're using in it and just put a label on it and they might put a little fancy essential oil or something like that like some kamu kamu and you think that it's out of your price range just get that clay powder and add water another thing you can add to that clay powder is like some coconut water you can just make it your home once you have that clay powder to use and most people are familiar with fuller's earth but you have all the green clay and on amazon which is one of my favorite places to get the these kind of a thing like the clay powder you can you know go on i'll put a link in the video at the bottom of the video when the show is over but that is good for tightening that skin you mix it up you put it on your face don't forget the neck and decollete oh another thing that you can put in it you can add some green tea powder or some um matcha powder you can add that to it and someone was asking about that sea mask yes you can actually mix that sea mask with sea moss that is someone was telling me the other day that oh um every time you talk about sea moss you'd say it's like his mask it's sea moss okay and so now i'm gonna spend the time to say it right you can add some sea moss to it yeah at jamaica we anyway 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 all right so yes and to answer the question about the sea moss the fact is i do not like all it smell i don't i really do and i'm going to be honest with you i don't like the smell of sea moss however moss however i tried it more than once and it is amazing okay i'm being honest with you guys i tried it more than once and i have videos to prove because i made a one or two videos on the channel 
It was amazing. My skin was looking so good, feeling so good. Love the result. The thing that I just cannot deal with is the set. And I, the second time I tried it, I put some essential oil in it. I'm trying to, you know, to mask the, um, the fragrance for it to have a nicer, you know, you know. But for some reason, I just can't deal with it. However, as I said, the result is amazing. So if you have it, definitely, if you can tolerate the scent of it, definitely use it. And if you want a video, we have two on the channel page using the sea moss. So definitely check that out use it and come back and give me your result for me my skin was feeling good looking good fresh nice tight and right so use it and let me know what you think and if you have tried it before go ahead and comment 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 all right so we are moving on and um let's see what is here so soap word extract is credited with cleansing property due to its saponin content flavonoid and vitamin c fight dark spots and, and free radicals that can cause the sign of aging thank you for that claudia and i definitely gonna look into it most times things that i personally don't know i learned from you guys so you know i'm gonna look into it check it out use it up and then i'll come back and talk about it i normally like to give people credit when they share things that i don't know so if um so that is veronica so let me write it down um veronica so once i check it out like it and use it for a while and prove it then we'll give you your credit for that which is something i like to do brooklyn new york i chichi i tried the aloe vera all right this i want to see i tried the aloe vera petroleum jelly and vitamin e overnight mask it is really nice simple for it is really nice now let me hear more from you okay just give me an idea what how you can feel the next day all right, the honest truth is, guys, for those of you who are not into petroleum jelly, it do make your skin feel good. And that is the truth. It makes your skin feel good when you have the other ingredients like the vitamin E and the aloe vera gel, and you put it on that face, it do something. If you're skeptical and you think it's going to clog it poor blah, 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 try it one time, just one time. And let me hear more from you, um, Brooklyn, New York, about this remedy. And for those of you who are not sure what we're talking about, we actually do some slugging and we talk about a lot of these, you know, um, things that you can do with petroleum jelly, including applying uh, it on your face, leave it on overnight and rest in the morning, um, you know, to reveal beautiful skin as the celebrities are doing. So that is what Brooklyn, New York is talking about. Now, Merit, um, Marita, um, that's the way lotus powder is too. Smell like dirt, but does the skin great. And I know the skincare um, um, line of product that I used to use. Sometimes I don't even like to tell you guys these things, but you know, I talk a lot, so why not? Yes. So the skincare <laughs> um, line of product that I used to use years ago, do use this lotus powder. And I used to pay a good bit of a penny for that product. So, you know, I'm going to look for the powder now that you mentioned it. Um, Marita, Marita, I'm going to definitely look for that powder. Never ever, I didn't even remember about it. And they get this lotus powder all the way from China. They add some nice Chinese herb to it. Anti-aging that is. And I love the product. I've used it for years. It was a little on the pricey side, but it was really, really good. Never even remember about this, this powder, but now, what I was using, I never get like a full smell because you know that they're going to mask that smell. So definitely we'll look um, up that a powder and bring it to you. So that's much I know about it. And I could also give a little insight on the Lotus. Definitely, definitely has been used for centuries, especially in the Asian community. They use the lotus on their face for anti-aging purposes for forever. Okay. All right. So we are moving on and Brooklyn, New York is giving us an update on the petroleum jelly uh, mask. Although I was really tired, I look hydrated, rested and bright. And this is exactly why they use it, guys. When you wake up in the morning, your skin look fresh. 
You look amazing. You look ready to take the world. And there you have it. So if you're skeptical about it, just use it one night. And the recipes on our channel page, you can go and you can find it overnight mask using petroleum jelly, or you can just put in slugging, Chichi Beauty, the video will come up. If after the show, I remember, I'll put the link for you below to try. All right. So it tighten and brighten we have a first time person here watching deborah charles welcome to the live chat what we do over here is send a chit chat we chat chit chat and we talk about the topic today we kind of all over the place because we haven't been on for well so the chit chat was on last week right time but you might not be aware that we have another live show which we were doing 25 day skincare challenge which was amazing and it handed and i took basically a week off so now i'm back and that is why it seems like all we're doing today is just chatting to each other which is what sunday chit chat is really about and i also take some questions and talk about the topic so what you miss in case you just joined you miss us talking about um using clay on the face clay mask you can get the clay powder or you can actually buy a clay mask and now we have our subscribers introducing other things to us like you know telling us about um lotus and um soap wort extract okay so that's what you're missing and if you're just joining don't forget give us a thumbs up and you know Feel free to comment that's what we like claudet walker how do i brighten the skin on my neck let me i like this because i'm gonna answer this question and i normally like to answer any question to do with the neck and the reason for that is you would be surprised how people really do not take care of their neck and i talk about this you know a couple of years ago which someone was like oh you probably shouldn't say that but i normally do it anyway have you ever like you be some places right and it doesn't really matter what your skin type is or skin tone is if you have eyes like I do, you will notice the difference, okay? And you see someone like really, really dressed up, like looking nice, wearing really, really nice clothes. And when you take a look at their neck, you know exactly what I'm gonna say. Because some people focus on their face a lot. And some people forget that they have to take care of the neck. You gotta take care of your neck also, especially when it comes on to the warm the cold the warmer months when you are you know going through the cold months you know you idle all of that up there like yeah but when you come in the warmer months your neck is going to show and not only that you need your entire body to look right you need your entire skin to look nice so what you are going to do is to exfoliate your neck every time you take a shower and my you know my ogs know this answer already every time you take a shower you have to exfoliate your neck now if you're looking for a good exfoliator meaning that scrub go on my channel page as i, I keep promising you guys jury duty is over <laughs> so all of the promises that i've been making i'm going to be able to fit them back in the schedule but i promise i'll make a, a playlist for you all so go exfoliate your neck a simple exfoliator is some brown sugar and some olive oil or some brown sugar and coconut oil with a little bit of a lemon juice or you can cut an orange you dip it in the brown sugar rub it up like that and you exfoliate your neck two to three times a week now get yourself a wash rug and every time you take your shower you wash your neck with that wash rock, okay? And after that, everything you use on your face, you use it on your neck and give yourself three weeks. After three weeks, you're gonna notice a significant difference and you keep doing it, after a while, your neck is gonna match the rest of your body. Tested, proven, okay? But you gotta keep doing it. All right, so that is it about neck. This is the one I really want to read. And this is from The Rice Effect with Stephanie. No, the rice effect. Are we talking, Stephanie, are we talking about the rice effect as if, you know, using rice on your skin, your hair, your nails, are the rice effect in terms of cooking? Let me hear because this is really interesting. All right, but petroleum jelly is not, okay, so here comes our new friend. All right, but petroleum jelly is not healthy for you and when absorbed into the body, stay within the body. The body house is in the tummy area and old on to toxin now now 
should I take this on, guys, or should I just leave it alone? All right, for now, I'm just going to leave it alone. Because we could tell that you are new. Because if I'm going to take you on with the toxin and the petroleum jelly, we're going to end the show. We have 24 minutes to go, and we're going to talk about it all now. But I'm going to ask you, and see, I give you a little shout-out with the rice effect. So because I can give you a shout-out, we're asking you to come back on. All right? Come back on and just keep watching when we have another live and we're going to discuss it even further and make sure you do your research before you come right because i'm going to come all loaded up to talk about um the petroleum jelly and the toxin and all of that and we're going to talk about it all right so promise me that you are going to come back all right so um um tan jalal and i always mess your name up i did my neck during the 25 days challenge until now and my neck look great so the person who asks about the neck I did my neck during the 25 days challenge until now, and my neck look great, okay? So that is what we're talking about. You got to keep doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. All right, so Stephanie, that's my last name. Oh, oh, okay, got you, got you. You can do a lot of things with that. All right, so we are moving on. Um, and make sure you come back, um, Stephanie. Now, Taryn is here. Um, I'm exfoliating my exfoliating my neck. It's helping, but still need work. So Taryn is still working on hers, and it is helping, and then still need work. Don't forget to also massage the neck. It's gonna clear up. Give it time to work. Just keep going. All right. So um, so Georgia is telling me not to take it on. So we are really leaving it. Now, Brooklyn, New York. Gigi, does it make a difference if doing the facial massage slower, faster, at a faster pace? Um, not really. You can choose to do it a little slower, but you have to have the pressure to a certain level. So let's say you're doing your forehead and you're doing it like that. It's, it's okay to do it slow. You can do it faster. It's up to you. But the pressure is what you're dealing with, uh, the amount of pressure that you apply. Okay? All right. Very, very good question. And uh, Merit, uh, my neck is a touchy subject. <laughs> All right. All right. Marcy, Marcy, uh, surely I try out potato, lemon, yogurt, and face masks. And it worked perfectly. So here we have Mercy trying out our face mask, which is great for the skin and doing well. All right, so Taryn, I'm not going to put your comment on. <laughs> All right, I'm going to explain that to you. All right, so Taryn is saying that short neck dark neck and that is because of the skin on the neck now if you have like short neck all of that skin is bundled like this all right so let me show you on here now take a look at my hands guys and this is what it looked like regular it's all long and everything like that now this what i'm trying to do is to push the skin up and look right here right here right here i'm pushing the skin up now that's what happened to your neck sometimes if your neck is on the shorter side it might look somewhat like 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 this and that is why short neck dark neck because it's a little more difficult to because the skin is now gathered it looks darker than the rest of your body and we all have that okay so it's okay basically what he's saying that your neck is gonna have a little bit shade darker than the rest of your body when your neck is short because all of that skin is like this. If you understand what I'm saying, guys, you can comment. So that's where that term come from, short neck, dark neck. Now, while your neck is long, long like, you know, like that, then the skin is like stretched out. So you get a chance to the skin that gather so your your neck could stay much clearer. That's what it's mean. But don't take it personal. <laughs> that's that, but there's some truth to it. All right. So we are moving on. I have to start a tiny little skin tag on my neck. We'll exfoliate my neck, make the skin 
tag mole bigger. Nope, 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 nope. Exfoliating your neck will not make your skin tag any bigger. And those little warts and stuff popping up on your neck, you know, just use some aloe vera, use some banana, use a lot of banana, facial mask. And, you know, we have some remedies on the channel that you can take, get rid of your skin tags. Now, one day when I have the time, I am going to share one of my own personal video and I am going to show you all what was happening to my skin, especially my face. I started to notice skin tags popping up here, popping up there, little fine ones. And you know how I notice those? I notice them because I normally just, you know, when I'm going to do my facial mask and when I finish my video, finish rinsing off the mask, I normally show my face to turn my head like that. And I went through a stage of like a lot of skin tag popping up on my face, the little ones. And all I do, I use my natural remedies just like before. I know the banana help and I use a lot of the banana facial mask. And now I have still one or two, you know, that comes on. And I know those comes on with age, but my skin is actually clear from it. And I actually didn't even know when they disappear, believe it or not. So what I'm just trying to tell you is that when you get to a certain age, it's going to happen. Some people can get rid of them faster than some. But from my personal experience, mine goes away because I use like the banana and not even paying special attention to it. Like, oh, tonight I got to make sure I take care of my skin tag. No. And they just eventually, you know, disappear. All right. So that's what i did so maybe you should just try to do the same if you're just joining it's sunday chit chat we're here chit chatting and guess what guys just before you know let me do this announcement we're gonna be on live on tuesday we're gonna be on live at 7 p.m eastern standard time and tuesday and yes we're gonna be on and tuesday unless something happened we're gonna be on and we are also gonna start our zoom connection so for those of you who already send your information in you're good to go and for those of you who didn't you want to be a part of our zoom get together then you send your email to chichibuti at gmail.com the only way you get to be on it as if you know somebody who's going to have the link or you send now to chichibuti at gmail.com. We're going to be doing that. So make sure not to miss out. So Monday, we're going to be on on Thursday. We're going to be on as the one day that I promise that I will keep up to par with the 25 day skincare challenge that is going to be on Thursday. Now, if we pop in like on a Friday night and a Saturday night, that's a pop-up but for the rest of october we're going to be on on tuesday and thursday thursday for the skincare and tuesday for us to just to chat and have a good one hour together now we are also going to continue doing our you know having our guests and so on and so forth so if you want to be on any one of our live show just send your information to chichibuti at gmail.com we will let you know what the show is going to be about before well on thursday you all know skincare 25 days challenge you know add on so you if you want to be a part of that you send to chichibuti at gmail.com it'll be nice to see some of you and i still remember a lot of you promised like like um um jill <laughs> i just want to throw words on jill jill want to be here jill want to know how to use her camera yes jill i received the email didn't get a chance to like go through everything but oh i'll get to you so you want to be a part of the show you can be a part of the show all right so bear that in mind the time for our evening show 7 p.m eastern 7 p.m eastern standard time the time for the zoom is going to be around about that time too because that's the time i know that people are around the day is what is to be announced so that is coming up soon all right so we are moving on and if you're just joining we're talking about skin care tightening and firming and reducing wrinkles on fine lines we spoke about clay now let's talk about oatmeal we're having a video tomorrow with oatmeal now, if you 
um, have oatmeal, you need to just blend that to a powder and use it on your skin. That is going to have to tighten the skin. You can choose to add other ingredients to that oatmeal, but you can also choose to just add water to it. Use it to kind of exfoliate your face first, and then you leave it on. It helps to tighten. If you have oily skin, that could be your favorite natural ingredient to use on the skin mixing with other stuff. Now we also have rice. Now rice is one of my favorite anti-aging natural ingredients, believe it or not, for skin tightening. Because rice have that starch in it, that's natural starch. And when you use it on your face and you leave it, it's not only reducing the wrinkles and boots in the collagen, but it's also helped your skin to get that natural glow. Now we have also another thing that is egg. Egg white. And for some of you, you like eggs, some don't. You know the smell again like the sea moss but it also the egg white have to tighten and firm the skin and it also have to get rid of to shrink those large pores so you definitely can use that as another ingredient for tightening and firming the skin and guess what else that you can use to tighten and firm the skin that is don't even seem like it's good tighten and firm the skin but it does and that is papaya that is a fruit i like yesterday i was trying to buy a papaya guys and they were like on the like you know the large size and i was thinking about one of my subscribers were like oh the fridge is full of frozen papaya <laughs> so i was like i wish you could just get some now that i don't have to buy this big old papaya but then that's what i'm going to be doing with it i'm going to be bringing papaya facial um this week and i'm going to be freezing the rest so next time i come around with frozen papaya you understand why what I like also to use on my skin is avocado. We have an avocado mask coming up this week, guys. And that is also another great um, ingredient that you can use. Okay, so it was Claudia with the frozen papaya. I know one of you mentioned having frozen papayas. Now, um, someone wants to know about crow's feet. Now, when we talk about crow's feet, we're talking about the wrinkles right at the side of your face right here. No, the honest truth is I really don't have, I think, anyway, it's a little see something really amazing happened. I, I would have to go through a whole full detail to tell you the story, but someone was, um, I'm going to chop it up a bit, but someone was offering me a package, a skincare package. True story happened this week, last week. Someone was asked, offering, no, nothing about me, don't know who I was, nothing at all. And the person was offering me a skincare package. Now, that skincare package is an anti-aging skincare package. She was just trying to get me to spend some money. So I was like, no, what is in this package? And she was like, well, some anti-aging procedure that can be done on your face, blah, 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 lift, tighten, and firm your skin. And it also have a little bit of a Botox. So I said, hmm, I never tried Botox before. However, this is exactly what I said to the person. I said, however, I actually have a skincare channel, a natural skincare channel. And if I use any form of a Botox on my face, I'm sure they're going to notice that I do Botox. And she said, but do you really want to try it? And I was like, actually, no. And she said, honestly, when you asked about the package, I was looking at your face and I was saying to myself, your skin look really good. You don't need Botox. That is the honest truth story. And I was like, Ooh, I don't need Botox, right? But honestly, I was just curious to know what was in the package. So I asked, but when she mentioned both, I know I wasn't going to be doing no Botox, okay, guys? I, if I'm going to do Botox, it's going to be recorded. If I'm going to be like so curious and nosy, like, oh, I'm going to go do Botox, you guys going to come along on the journey. But never say never, but for right now, 
I don't see myself doing Botox and that's the honest truth. But what I got out of that was because she was telling me about the frown line and she was telling me about um, the crow's feet. That is a part of what the package that she was trying to sell me. And then she was like, uh, and oh, she also mentioned that I have not a single line on my face. I was very, 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 very happy for that. So, you know, the environment that I was in, I didn't get a chance to say, why don't you come and watch my channel? I don't normally do that, but I was so tempted to do it. But, you know, she's in her, you know, doing her work. So she had to do what she had to do. And that is a true story. So I'm very, very happy that someone can look at my skin up close and be like, you have amazing looking skin. Come a long way. It didn't happen overnight. But dedication and just keep doing what I'm doing. Everything I shared with you, like for instance, I'm telling you guys, you get in a avocado mask this week. You get in a, a potato mask. And this morning I use the avocado mask on my face. So what I use, I share, and that is how it goes. Now, K Renee, um, was she being honest? How do you uh, how do you use real Botox without it being injected? How do you do real Botox without it being injected? Use a skin tightening facial mask and massage your face upwards. And that is as natural as it gets. That is what I do. Natural Botox. And I even have videos. As a matter of fact, I use egg once and I made a video and show you guys the result. It's not permanent, it's temporary, but it really lifts and tightens that skin. And you could actually see the difference after using the egg white. Check that video. That video got, I don't want to lie, I don't remember, but it got a couple million views. Wow. And a lot of people try that recipe and they swear by it just like I do. And I also mix that egg white with that cornstarch and use it. If I want to go somewhere, look tight and bright and firm, that is what I do. And it works like a charm. As I said, it's not permanent, but it get the job done when you want to get it done. And that is what I would call my natural Botox without any form of an injection. All right, so we are, if you have another views on it, guys, go ahead and comment, comment, comment. Now, Sharisa, can I, can the fresh aloe vera, yes, you can use the fresh aloe vera with the aloe, with the petroleum jelly. The thing is, you gotta use it up within, you know, a short space of time. So don't make enough, just make just what you're gonna use at the time. Because the aloe, fresh aloe vera go bad way faster than the store-bought aloe vera, but it's basically, even better, natural, fresh on the skin. All right, so um, all right, so we are moving on. Can you give? All right, so all right, um, Tanji, Pat, um, Ilma, that's the mask on my face now, Chichi. All right, so see, someone is using the mask with the egg white that I'm just talking about. If you have not seen that video, definitely go and check it out. All right, guys, so now that you are watching, you're enjoying the show, go ahead and comment and also go ahead and give the video a thumbs up, whether you're watching from Facebook or you're watching from YouTube, which is our main platform. And keep the question coming. It's Sunday Chicha. We're talking about skin firming reducing wrinkles and fine lines on the skin in case you're just joining. And we're sharing tips. We're talking about remedies, ingredients that you can use naturally at home to tighten and firm the skin. Also, we talk about Botox because there's a lot of people that definitely use Botox to plump the cheeks up and also to give their skin a younger appearance. Nothing is wrong with it. People are curious. People want to go try. If you want to go try, you definitely go and try. But for me, I'm not at that stage yet where I feel like I would want to do i'm keep using my remedies and i was just sharing a little incident about my skin so that's all that you miss so far so rice we're back to rice we're talking about how the rice can help to tighten and firm the skin as a matter of fact i don't think i have a share a video where you can blend that rice to a powder and you can get the the um the cornstarch and you make that cornstarch glue in case you don't know how to do that 
you take like a tablespoon of cornstarch you put like a quarter cup of water and you can put it on the stove top or you use hot water pour it in that cornstarch and you're gonna get like really really gluey and then you pour that rice in there you mix it up and you use it on your face it have, I leave it for 30 minutes have to tighten and firm that skin now guys if you want to try definitely try and come back I try all of what I'm sharing with you and I see amazing results not permanent and someone want to know what is Botox and Botox is all right so um, here is the answer which is the right answer um, that is what Botox is so we are moving on and you know normally when people do Botox it's mostly like for the cheek area well no they do for wrinkles also where they just get you know make your face look like this get out the wrinkles on fine lines and you know give your skin a younger appearance now your skin really well I would say you need to be really far gone to go and do it but not so a lot of young people is doing it and they're also doing their lips and all of that to look younger um i share a, re a, a little trick with you once where you can actually um pull your lips in mm, suck on it and release it and it look fuller and this is also not a true true story i really don't like when i come on my show i don't really emphasize on my lips personally like I don't do it much sometimes I do it and it always raised like whoa what is going on but I really know how to and make my lips look like if I'm going like you know somewhere fancy and I want to look like I get lip stuff done I just like you know soak it up pull it up and then I just draw that line and put some stuff on it and it definitely looked like I went and get that lip injection done when I really don't and when I went to my dentist, my dentist, um, uh, like, you know, after a few visits, she was like, um, I want to ask you something. Now, my dentist, pretty new dentist, to be honest, my whole dentist, you know, retired, whatever. Anyway, pretty new dentist. So she said she want to ask, she's one of those fancy dentists, the younger dentists that, you know, look like she do some Botox and stuff. Anyway. I hope she's not watching <laughs> but it's the truth all right so she said you want to ask me something and i was like oh go ahead because i try to be nice they're in my mouth they got to try to be nice and she said um did you get your lips done so what i honestly come out like that she said did you get the lips done and i'm like no she was like i've been admiring your lips and i was like wow they did you a great job on your lip i'm like no these are natural she want to know if I get my lips done. I never ever take note of my lip before. Like I never think that people would look at my lips and think I, you know, I do something with them. Yes, sucking at them like, mm, mm, mm. make them look nice. Scrub them down and put my lip liner over with some nice um, lip gloss on it, and I'm good to go. So there's many things that you can do naturally at home to create a look that people is gonna look think that you do something else when you really do not do anything else like my cheeks are like looking like I did go and get the Botox right nope 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 what I did just before I came on the show someone sent me a nice palette right a nice a palette with some really nice colors in it like blush that is not blush I liked her really nice ones and what i did i just fixed my face and just before i was two minutes late for the show i take that brush and i pass it right here and i pass it right there and now look at that you think anyway guys we are talking about tightening and firming the skin reducing wrinkles and fine lines and for those of you who are not aware we have another channel alex maxi the link is below we are going to be sharing makeup videos on that channel and you know fashion and stuff like that so if you want to be a part of that you can go and subscribe to Alex Maxi I think we need just a few to be at a thousand so definitely we're gonna start to promote it because that's where you're gonna find the makeup you know and the fancy things and how many of you want me to go back I'm growing my nails see I'm growing them they are growing 
castor oil, the good old Jamaican black castor oil with some rosemary is what I'm using on them and my nails are growing. So when I come back on and you know, my nails all doll up, don't put like, oh, she's wearing fake nails. I'm growing my nails. All right. So yes, I do wear, you know, tips, but sometimes I could normally grow up my nails too. And then you keep doing it, doing it, doing it, just grow long. And then people used to say my nails are fake, but they were actually my real nails. All right. So we are moving on and Georgia, um, lock it. I can relate to the constant frowning. That is what has caused my deep forehead wrinkle. So thank you for that comment. Cause we're going back to answer the question about how to get rid of your crow's feet, which is basically your pressure point. So you do not want to, you know, overdo my suggestion. And this is what I share with my subscribers is all of you is whatever you use under your eyes. That is what you use right here. Okay, whatever you use under your eyes, take it all the way out here and massage it in circular motion. That is going to help with this area on your face. And most people show age like this. It's, you know, I'm making too much of a big crease. But yes, you tend to show your age right there, just like your under eyes. Very delicate area. So use your eye cream and take care of that area. Don't forget the circulation and the pulse is right there also. So slowly massage it with whatever you're using under your eyes will help. Test proven, 100% working. Okay, so definitely do that. And do you just soak your nails in the castor oil? They're looking great. No, I just um, rub the oil over and leave them on overnight. That's what I do. And I think I have a few recipes with, you know, the remedies that I'm using for my nails on my channel page. All right. So, um, Brooklyn, I need extra help with laugh lines. And this is Brooklyn. You know, when you go to school, you'd be like, you want to tell me you come to class every day and you still need help with the laugh lines, the massaging technique and the skin tightening recipes that we share brooklyn is for you i know you came on a little late so i'm gonna give you a pass on this one but definitely watch the facial massage videos especially the one for laugh lines and we share this on this channel a lot because this is what i personally like to do almost every day go right in that laugh that line lift and hold for a few and release and you do that 20 times every day for the rest of this week and come back sunday this is all i'm asking you to do right here grab it down with a little pressure right in that laugh line lift all the way to the ear temple hold for a few and release and do that 20 times or 25 times every single day and come back sunday and we'll talk about it all right definitely will help but you gotta remember to do to do 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 all right so we are moving on if you're just joining welcome deborah is 64 what would be a good mask toner and moisturizer now deborah i don't know if anyone answered the question but what i'm going to share with you i'm going to actually let you go and watch some of my videos this is the 25 day skincare challenge and claudia i know that you've been watching most of the the past 25 day skincare challenge so i'm going to show you put you on the spot claudia which of the challenge in your opinion which because you watch series one series two and series three which of the series would you you know share with a new person that is joining which of them you think is the best with the most information that you, you could share i know the last challenge was great but i also think that the second challenge i think i actually share more i'm not sure that's just what i think and if you're watching and you all watch all you might not remember the reason why i'm saying showing it to claudia because claudia has just been watching those videos so she would be more it would be more fresh in her head which of the um series i should refer her to okay so the vlogmas okay so deborah if you go on my channel page or send 
to chichibutygmail.com. I'll send you the link and you could go ahead and you could watch those videos. You're gonna know exactly what skin type you have. You're also gonna know exactly what to use on your skin personal. Your skin, not your mama's skin, not your friend's skin, your skin. You're gonna know and you're also gonna know how to make your own facial moisturizer, your own facial mask, and definitely also to massage your skin and get it to look good in a short period of time. So check out Vlogmas on the channel page and it's in a playlist, but if you don't know how to find it, just send to chichibuti at gmail.com and we'll send you the link to it. Thank you so much for that, Claudia. Now, I can't believe my one hour is up and um, we are, all right, let me spend a little more time talking about lifting, tightening, and firming. So if you're just joining, today was all about sharing ingredients and tips and how to firm that skin. We cannot leave out facial massage. We cannot leave out a facial massage. It goes hand in hand with your skin tightening remedies. All right, so definitely massage your face. And when you apply your beauty products on your skin, apply it. If you are pressing it, you press it on. When you're done, you definitely go back in and massage your face. It will help and it can help to transform your skin. And wrinkles on the forehead, you do that facial massage, papaya, and the same um, papaya mixed with um, cornstarch, forehead wrinkles. If you get that, that cornstarch, you mix it the way I was explaining earlier. I actually have a video on that. And you just paste that on your forehead and you leave it on for 30 minutes. And then you rinse off, you spritz your toner on. And, you know, you just massage it with your facial moisturizer. And you are going to be doing this two to three times a week for the papaya mask. However, every night you massage that forehead. Give it, I'm not even going to tell you six weeks. Because after the very first week, you're going to notice some results. After the third week, you're going to notice a big difference. After six weeks, you should notice significant difference to your forehead. Work, 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 work. It just takes work. You got to do it. You can't do it today and say, oh, I forget the tired. No, it's not, not going to happen. And that is why in our 25 days challenge, we share tips on how you could get your facial massaging done without even feeling like you spend extra time doing it. Okay? All right, so we are moving on. And Maxine, I've been watching them too. And I also think the second one have more information. So which is um, the second one that is the one we did before this one. The second one have a lot of information too. That's what I think. I was thinking that we have more information in the second one because the second one was when we introduced the printout and every night we talk about the different the different um, topics like we talk about the facial massage, we talk about taking care of the eyes, we talk, we did a what, that mean they're all good, it's difficult, but for a beginner, beginner, you know, which is the best, all right, all right, so we are moving on, and um, great job, thank you for that, all right, guys, so this is a Sunday Chit Chat, and we are wrapping up on Sunday Chit Chat, I like to answer as many questions as we can, now we are cutting, it's not cutting short, it's one hour and we are going to be up and running tomorrow. So look out for the daily videos, guys. That's how you support the channel. Watch the daily videos and also share them on your Facebook page. I'm going to say Facebook page. Just share them on your social media so we could have other people coming over. If I'm in the mood, I might come on tomorrow just to chit chat with, you know, with all of you like the regulars who are normally on here. Just chit chat, pop up chit chat. But Tuesday, we'll have a show show. And Thursday, we have a show show. But if I come on tomorrow just to chat, okay? Will you just catch up on jail, you know, Claudia, Maya? Like, yeah, that's kind of a thing. So, I might be on so but watch the day the video if you want to be a part of the zoom please remember to send your information to chichibuti at gmail.com let me take a few more questions and then we are gonna move on or uh, am i to say the show is gonna come to an end now robin um Glad I caught you live. Welcome to the live. And Taryn, love and miss you, ladies. I know. That's why you see I'm like, okay, 
I'm back to work. So tomorrow I might bring that pop up. All right. So we um let's see who if you have a question, you're new and you have a question, please comment. I don't want to overlook you because we have you know a lot of new subscribers. So if you have a question, go ahead and ask. And someone is reminding me about the butterfly P toner going in production this week. And I'm also putting into production the Ibiscus. So we're going to have the butterfly, you'll see what I'm going to be doing, but definitely the butterfly pea toner is coming up, but we are going to see, we put a twist to like the hibiscus and I'm keeping a secret, but watch, watch, the, those are coming up um, this week, guys. So stay tuned for that. Now, Shari, I really glad I caught the live, live lately. I've been missing and I have to watch the repeat. So we're glad you're here. We're glad you catch us today because the Sunday chat is always, you know, and uh all right Rita, you might be able to download the zoom yes for those of you who are gonna be on the zoom you got to download the app okay so you type it in zoom z-o-o-m and then it's gonna it's gonna come up and it's gonna take you to your app store um and there you're gonna find the download you download it and you're good to go when i send you the link you just go you put that link in and voila there you are. All right. So, um, Ilma tried the Ibiscus tea and it is lovely. And Papaya can't start. Can I get the link to that video, please? Locket sent for chichibeauty at gmail.com. I'll find the link for you. If I can, I also will put it below um, this video so you could come back and check it out. Hi, Jason. Um, have a night. Ooh. OGs talking to OGs. Have a nice weekend, Jill. Ashley, I am Russian, so we never frown. <laughs> you know that is a myth? Well, you're Russian, so I don't want to step my boundary over. But I do like... No, you guys are going to be like, no, you know way too many people. No, no, no. But I do have um, interaction with a few people russian let me just say russian and they smile and laugh like everybody else but you know back anyway let's drop it right now because then we're gonna um think there but i'm sure when you're around your peers you do smile but when you're out there like you know anyway we are moving on hi tracy young welcome to the live um or welcome to basically the end of the live show and i'm gonna be back here next sunday 4 30 p.m for sunday chit chat if you're new to our channel we are here every sunday at 4 30 and this is what we do we talk about the topic this week topic was about boots and collagen and you know tightening and firming and reducing wrinkles what we did we share some ingredients some natural ingredient that you can use to help to tighten and firm the skin and we also take as many questions because that's what synergy chat is all about answering um your question and we also i personally learned something like soap wart which i need to go look up and also the lotus powder for anti-aging so that is my time but i'm taking a few more questions since you're all still here lana tallow what do I do to tighten up those loose skin around my mouth? So are you talking about the laugh lines or you're talking about the upper lips and under? Regardless of which one you're talking about, you're using a skin tightening remedy. Some remedy that we share on the channel, you can use egg white. You can actually use some rice powder. You can, oh, did I forget the potato starch? You can use potato starch. You can use corn starch. And some, one of my subscribers were talking about arrowroot starch, which is also good. You can use any form of a mask. Fuller's Earth, you can use green clay, white clay. And if you want to know how to use these, we have the videos on our channel page. So what you do, just look for a skin tightening or a wrinkle fighting mask on the channel page. Just type it, you know, go on YouTube, put in Chichi Beauty. And in the search, you put, you know, um, wrinkles or skin tightening and those videos are going to come up and just watch one watch them and use one that you have most of the ingredient but we also have our 25 day skincare challenge if you want to learn more in taking care of your face overall then you can go ahead and watch those videos the link um, is below the playlist is there or you go on my channel page click on playlist and you will find the title and go ahead and watch those videos 
now claudia I mix them sometimes i have two going at once so say so someone was asking me um i think they sent an no it wasn't an email it was in the comment section i was reading comment this morning someone was asking me and i think it's a person that watches the 25 days challenge and they was like now that i am addicted can i use two masks per day <laughs> Yeah, now that I'm addicted, can I use two masks per day? The honest truth is you actually could because it they're natural, they're natural, but you really do not need to. I would suggest that you use a mask you know, two to three times per week is good enough. However, there are times when you have a special occasion coming up and so on and so forth. You can use a mask for seven days straight. Seven days straight, you use a mask, and have to transform your skin. Then after that, you cut back down to two to three times per week. It depends on what you're using. Like the papaya mask that I'm gonna share this week, you can use that mask every day on the skin. You'll use it, you leave it on for 10, 20 minutes, or a deep uh, mask, you leave it on for 30 minutes, and you're good to go. There's nothing in there that's gonna arm your skin. The papaya mask, also, you can do that with it. But when you're using masks that's, you know, have a bit of an acid, like the lactic acid and the citric acid and all of that, then two to three times a week, because you do not want to irritate the skin. But anything with just oil and water and, you know, definitely you can use it every day all right oh two times per day if you want is your skin but two to three times a week or once per day depending on the mask is also good for you should you use clay oh this is a very very good question should you use clay on all type of skin now my experience with clay is remember this is really dirt okay this is really dirt now it's gonna have one of the reasons why you're not allowed to go in your backyard, especially if you live somewhere where you have the clay, because it's white clay, you can find clay is dirt, is because you do not know what is in that soil. Okay, you don't know what is in the soil. So you leave that for the expert to get that soil and extract all of the toxin um, that could irritate your skin. Do they get everything out 100%? No, but whatever is left, it goes to a system where it is now skin friendly. So to answer your question, if you have sensitive skin, always test whether you're buying the powder to use or you're buying one from a tube, believe it or not. Store-bought, nice fancy package, regardless, test it in this area on your hands. And then if everything goes well, then go ahead and use it on your skin very 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 good question all right all right so um now we are moving on so to answer the question should you use clay on all skin type clay can be used on all skin type however we caution you if you have sensitive skin to always test before applying on the skin very very good question now if you have sensitive skin and you feel like the clay might irritate your skin your next best option is to go ahead and get that rice blend it to a powder because it's friendly to most skin type all right we are moving on moving on now sharing i want the papaya to eat because i love it yes but guess what it's just a little piece man come on man it's just a little piece like watch my videos you're not gonna see me use a whole slice of papaya need an avocado i love me some avocado okay this morning i have avocado toast all right that's how much i love it but you get a video with avocado because i am using a small piece and because it go bad really quick you don't if you watch my videos okay now you might have a presentation some people might like to take like the entire avocado they come on they make a video with the avocado they scoop out the whole thing they make a big batch of facial stuff no, 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 not on this channel. On this channel, you get your avocado, you buy it, you take one little slice out, you put it aside to make your facial remedy, and you leave the rest, and you go put it on your toast, you chop it up in your salad, and you eat your avocado, you get in double warm, you get in your face done, and you get in all the nutrients from the avocado. So you don't want a big batch, it go bad in three to four days. So definitely one slice is good, just like the papaya, one little piece. An ounce of the papaya 
it's not you can you can another thing with the papaya you can use a peel i use a peel to make the facial scrub and if you don't know where that video it is on the channel page more than one and i also use the seed to make my serum and stuff so nothing go to waste all right we are moving on and um we're having so okay here is one can i use cassava starch on my face now this question we had in our 25 day skincare challenge and I went on a whole tantrum and I talk about cassava, how to extract the starch and all of that good stuff. And that is natural starch. Some of you might remember me talking about the cassava starch is the most popular starch for the one you spray on your clothes and all of that good stuff. That is direct starch right there. And guess what? I've never tried it because I don't have access. Someone was saying I could get the cassava starch to buy on Amazon, but I'm gonna try it for you because I think it's probably work even better than the the cornstarch because that's starch. Like when you make that potato, guys. When I make the potato and I extract the starch, that starch that I got from it, that is the same way you extract the starch from the cassava. So to answer your question, I'm gonna tell you yes, and you might even get better results than some of the other skin tightening remedies that we are using. All right, so um, <laughs> Cara, I eat all and scrape the skin. All right, you still can leave a little piece. All right, we are, um, okay, so we are going on. We got told from family to only smile. At, okay, so maybe that is the reason about the smile and we could take up something like this and zoom that's the reason for the smile because they they're not family but they're close friends so you might have a point there all right so we yes if you want to be also guys we have our vlog channel i went on my vlog channel and i noticed i haven't posted a video on the vlog channel for months we're coming back to that we are gonna be vlogging again we're doing our fashion the blogging and remember we promise we're having some cooking channel coming up with my cousin Andre. that is also gonna be you know um in the making it's natural starch great for wrinkles and skin tightening yes all natural starch the potato starch is what we use on the channel a lot the rice when you blend it to a powder you have that starch in it you also have this, the, the oatmeal, all that, you know, starch coming from that oatmeal is good, but not all. I wouldn't be like, well, let me not say that, like yam, if you live somewhere, all of these have starch in it, and you can use it on your skin. Wheat, you know, same thing you take to make bread, and sometimes we even use a little flour. It's going to tighten. What we do, however, when you choose the starch that you want, choose a starch that you can eat, you can consume, okay? That is the trick. Anything you can go down your stomach can go on your skin. So when you choose that starch, add things to it. Add like aloe vera gel, like some rose water, add a little bit of a vitamin E oil, some olive oil, and stuff like that to just kick it up a notch and make it more skin friendly. So you're using the starch as a base ingredient, and then you had all these other natural vitamins and minerals and, you know, help it to become now a facial mask that is good for your skin. All right, can you blend the papaya? No, do not blend the papaya with the seed. Use the seed to make my facial serum. I use the papaya flesh to make your facial mask and also use the papaya flesh to make your overnight facial mask, which we have one on the channel, you definitely should check that out. All right, guys, this is my time. It's Sunday, and I will go make some din din now because tomorrow is a busy day. We're back up and running. Well, I am back to work like really back to work tomorrow and i have a whole bunch of stuff pile up when you take a day off or two days off you'll be surprised how much work i have piled up so that's what i'm gonna be doing but i think i'm gonna come on tomorrow just to chit chat with you guys and if i'm coming on you'll know early and it's gonna be like seven it's gonna be like 7 p.m in the um in the evening so also if you want to be on live chit chatting like you know like claudia and all of you guys that normally come on if you want to be chit chatting i'll send the link out to you if you send your email to say you want to be and we just chit chat you know but tuesday we're going to have a show and thursday we're going to have our get together once weekly get together 
for our 25 day skincare challenge. And if you're just joining and you're watching and you was asking questions about your skin, if you join us on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you might get some more information of how to help your skin to look amazing because that's just an update to our 25 days skincare challenge. Now go and Support your girl by watching all the videos that you missed that we post last week and come tomorrow for all fresh new videos that we're going to be posting on the chat. So be good to yourself. Love you guys. And um, it's holiday tomorrow. And what holiday is that? Eros Day? I kind of don't remember the holidays that's in Jamaica. And I'm thinking it's Eros Day because Eros Day is fall in October. No, don't come at me if I'm wrong, guys, all right? So newbies join on Tuesday and Thursday, definitely, definitely. You still could join on Monday, but you might be a little like, what are you talking about? But you still could come on on Monday. Can I use rose water that is used for flavoring? On the okay. A lot of people ask this question. Now, the rose water that is used for putting in, like, your cake and all of these is an essence. It's not... It's an essence, it's not the same rose water that they use for the skin. It's two different types. One is an essence and one is, um, you know, regular steam rose petal. So I'm going to come back on, I'm going to write that down because that's something I need to address because this question keep coming up and I think I'll make just a little short video explaining the difference between the one for the cake and the one that you use on the skin. And if you notice, the one that you use for the cake is have this amazing fragrance, nothing, don't smell like roses because it's an essence. And we'll talk about that. And I promise you, I'm going to rose water and essence. This is something I could just come on and chat about on a little four minutes video for you guys. So I'll answer your question, but no, do not use that one. Get the regular rose water for skin. Okay. All right. So have a wonderful week. Guys. Oh, Day. Yes. Got it right. Have a wonderful week guys. And if you want to join us tomorrow, 7 PM, come back, but look out for our daily video tomorrow morning. We're going to post early, like 7 AM Eastern standard time. And if you don't come on that early, come any time of the day, watch our video. That is how you support the channel and share the video on your social media. It was nice starting with you all today. I'm so happy to be back. Happy to, I, yeah, I do miss you guys as well. I'm coming out tomorrow. Anyway, have a great week. And remember, if you want to be on tomorrow with us, chit-chatting with us, don't forget, send for the link for tomorrow's show at chichibeauty at gmail.com. Be good to yourself and I will see you soon. Have a great week. Don't forget to take care of you because if you don't, no one is going to do it for you. Love you guys. Be good. Bye-bye.